Hi you guys, it's another quick video on uh, the Apex Launcher that uh, I've done previously on uh, YouTube. You may have seen the previous videos and watched them uh, with regards to how smooth and how fast Apex Launcher is on both the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and also the HTC One X. A uh, bit of news for you guys, uh, there's been a beta release uh, for Apex Launcher. Uh, I'll show you in the comments below on my comments how to update to this beta version of uh, Apex Launcher. But basically, uh, quickly go over it quickly with you. The Apex Launcher beta now adds Jelly Bean uh, features, i.e. moving stuff around the home screen so widgets get out of the way, lots of features. As you can see on the uh, computer screen in front of us, Apex Launcher beta updated to Jelly Bean base brings the speed and customizations. Uh, I'll post links to a couple of websites where you can download the beta version. If you're already running uh, Apex Launcher and you're running the pro version, you may be able to go into settings and look for updates, although when I tried that on a couple of handsets I've got, it didn't seem to work. Uh, the beta version that uh, they've launched at the moment is, if you've got the pro version and you install it on your phone, uh, you still retain the pro version and you still retain all your settings that you've uh, customised for your Apex launcher. Uh, it just adds all the new features. I won't go into uh, too much detail and too much depth. Uh, as I said, I'll post the two links and you can have a read through those. I'll quickly show you uh, on the Galaxy S3, although I've got it on the HTC One X as well, uh, with regards to how the function works with moving things around widgets wise. If you put a large widget on the screen and there's not enough room, it'll uh, make the widgets that are on the screen uh, smaller. Uh, basically, if I grab hold of this uh, Google search widget and I move it up to the top of the screen, you can see now things are moving out of the way. So you can basically move things around the screen and put them where you want. Uh, if I move to another screen, although mine are quite uh, minimalistic, I've just got uh, basically uh, one widget on each screen. But if there's another one here, I can quickly show you uh, how that works a bit better. So we go in, I've got a tuning radio one here and a few uh, folders. If I get the tuning radio and I take it to the top, they'll pop to the bottom. I can shove them to the top. And they just all move out of the way. And if you uh, put bigger widgets on and you've got a bit of space, it'll resize the existing widgets uh, so they'll get out of the way and uh, you can move stuff around. Uh, quickly go into the settings if you uh, double tap on your screen in Apex Launcher and Apex Settings uh, about Apex Pro Launcher Pro and you can see at the top now this version is uh, Apex Launcher Pro version 1.3 beta uh, you can automatically check for updates on the version that you're running but I found it wouldn't update but uh, like I say I'll post the links below uh, those guys who've uh, checked out the uh, one X with Apex Launcher and also uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 with a, uh, the Apex Launcher. Uh, I've been playing around with this half an hour or so now and it's it's really really smooth, transitions really smooth, really quick, lots of new features and uh, the One X and the Galaxy S3 side by side there's no real difference in uh, how they react with this Apex version uh, so there's nothing to differentiate the two. Uh, very nice uh, user interface, the transitions are quite nice springing in and out uh, not a massive difference, although it has added uh, smoothness of uh, Jelly Bean over the top. If you do uh, get a, a ROM version of uh, Jelly Bean, you put this over the top, or uh, you've rooted your phone and you've managed to get Jelly Bean on, you can have this Apex Launcher, and I believe there are a few more features that you can actually get as well. Uh, but there we are, a quick uh, video telling you uh, about the update or the beta update that uh, you can get. I'll uh, post the links below so you can get it. One of the uh, uh, places you can get it from is XDA and there's another link where you can uh, download it directly to your phone. What I suggest you do on the links is open the link on uh, your phone, uh, your HTC One X or your Galaxy S3 and go directly from the web page on your phone to download and it'll install the APK in your download file. Make sure you've got all sources unchecked. Uh, click on the downloaded APK file and it'll uh, overwrite your existing Apex launcher. Like I say, it'll keep all the settings. This is how I had my phone set up previously so it's not changed anything uh, I didn't have to change or move anything around it's just added the new features and like I say I've not played around with it fully yet but there's a full uh, list of features on uh, both sites I'll uh, put down below that'll tell you about it but yeah like I say very smooth very uh, very good for transitions in and out lots of new customizable uh, features so uh, go ahead and try it uh, leave comments below uh, if you like it uh, Leave feedback and subscribe and I'll uh, get more tips and videos out to you as soon as I uh, hear what's happening. Okay, cheers. Bye for now.